Hi Pisces, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. So, and I apologize for the echo. I know it's crazy. I'm just in a really empty room because I just moved. So yeah, so sorry about that. There's not a lot I can do about it, but let's dive in and see what's coming out for you guys for the month of May. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And just keep in mind that these are general readings. And if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading, you can find my information down below in the description box. And as always, thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. All right, Pisces. Let's see what's coming up for you guys in the month of May kind of energies are coming out for you. Bear with me because this is an awkward angle. Okay. Oh, I love this. Okay, Pisces. What you've got popping out, you've got the king. So it looks like you're stepping into your power in some way, shape, or form. Like maybe what I'm getting from this is you could have possibly been in some type of di a dynamic for a long time where you felt like someone was in control over you or had some type of power or, or authority over you. In the month of May, I see you more taking your power back, like maybe putting your hand up to someone and standing up for yourself and deciding to take power over your own life in some way, shape, or form, which is amazing because I feel like what could have happened is you're, you're recognizing a pattern, Pisces. Something that might have happened where you saw a fear of yours was holding you back and you're deciding, no, I'm going to provide my own solutions. I'm going to be the one that takes care of myself and my situation. So interesting because this is what's great. In your first house, because you guys know this is the astrology read. So for your first house, we've got the hanged one. And that's how you're seeing yourself in the month of May. It's But to me, what I'm seeing about this is that you're going to be going through a lot of transitions in the month of May. Because that's what the, the hanged man is, if you can see that. It says transition. And you're getting that perspective shift. Like you're seeing things in a completely different way throughout this next month. Okay, in your second house, we have the Five of Swords. So this is your house of money. So there could be something where for a while, Pisces, you've been kind of lying to yourself about possibly needing someone or, you know, having some limiting beliefs around the way that you make money. That's what you're getting a perspective shift. So this is actually really powerful for this month is your perspective shift is seeing yourself and visualizing yourself in power, in control of your life. In your third house, we've got the devil. So when it comes to communication, because this is the third house, the house of communication, I would just say to really watch the way that you're communicating. Because if you have felt repressed for a while and you're starting to feel that the Aries energy kind of helped you transition a bit and now you're starting to step into your power, there's a lot of this sacral coloring and, and also the, um, the sacral chakra and the root chakra coloring right here up into your self-worth. Do you see that? That's where there's this power building within you because you're making a lot of transitions and changes. So as you're going through this, you might be starting to see that for a long time, if you felt repressed or you were just in some type of karmic energy out of fear or shame or guilt, you're going to possibly be feeling that you'd been taken advantage of during that time of your weakness. And so your communication could come from more, a more shadowy place. So that's what I want to caution you about is how your communication is coming across. In your fourth house, we've got the priestess. This is amazing. So that's your card. And it means that when it comes to your home, 
you're going to be having more of like heightened intuition. And for those of you that are also in some type of situation or dynamic where you're feeling like you have to control your emotions, you guys could be around people that are triggering you a lot because you've got the shadow here. So when it comes to your home, it could be that you're working on finding like even a different home that allows you to have more peace and well-controlled emotions so that you can have heightened intuition throughout this month. So that could be something also that you're taking your power back over. In your fifth house, we've got the Maiden of Swords. So I love this because this is your house of hobbies. Um, it, there's something new that you're learning here. And when it, it, it comes to your creative expression, your hobbies, maybe a sport, you're, you're doing something different here throughout the month of May, maybe learning something new or learning a new skill because you're, you're broadening. This is that student energy because your energy is starting to broaden. It's almost like you've conquered what you have. Like I always talk about it being a video game. You're leveling up Pisces. So now you're going through this huge archetypal and energetic shift throughout this month that's going to help you. So this is going to be a lot of your powerhouse where you're learning something new and just expanding your mind, expanding your brain and the capacity there. In your sixth house, right? <laughs> I always have to count this. In your sixth house, there's the full card. So it could be that you're doing some new things with your health and that's what's actually really cool as you're do learning something new it could be inspiring your energy to be uplifted and it's helping you to feel like you can take more risks this month or take a jump into things because your confidence is building and I see that with the king so this is such a good energy in your seventh house there's the queen of wands you could be dealing with a fire sign or Pisces when it comes to because this is partnerships you could have someone that's very interested in you, okay? Here's the entanglement going on here in your seventh house. There's someone who possibly is chasing after you and sees you, like, is very attracted to you and very magnetized by you because the more that you're going through this throughout the month of May, you're starting to feel more confident in yourself. That's a lot of fire energy right there. So some of you guys could have a fire sign or just someone that is in hot pursuit of you throughout this month. And I would say like, we'll dive into it more. We'll see what clarifies that because I want to see what comes out about it. In your eighth house, this is perfect. So you've got a synchronicity there. You've got the eight of swords. So when it comes to death, sex, transformation, that's the house of Scorpio, you could be having some fears come up. It's like, okay, let me dive down to this because you've got the priestess here. There's something intuitively that you're picking up on doing Pisces, but you could be jumping like over analyzing and jumping to a fear and it could be because something happened in the past and you're like this is going to repeat or it's going to be really bad and it could be because of like money or you know someone here that oh the other thing I'm seeing coming out with that five of swords there is some of you guys could be dealing with someone that there's arguments about money like, this is a no-win situation. It's inner conflict, but it could be coming out in a holographic way through another human. That you're feeling like maybe you're afraid to truly take your power over your own life in some way, shape, or form. Like, making your own money or going and living on your own. There's something here about your independence and it, because the king is that, running your own domain, stepping into your power. So when it comes to you actually making the transformation that you want to make, you could be jumping to ahead in the future into a different parallel reality and a vibration that's causing you to feel more like you're looking out for the worst or waiting for the other shoe to drop. And that's a little bit of your thing that you're having to overcome, controlling your emotions here and listening to your intuition as, a, as it's guiding you. You've got the eight of pentacles, so two eights that are coming in here. And this is in your ninth house, in the house of Sagittarius. So when it comes to, this is actually really good because when it comes to your mental expansion, there's things that you're going to be, and here you are learning something new, but 
this is actually putting the work into it, that eight of pentacles. That's you working towards your independence and moving to the next level up. And eight of pentacles, I always say that it's using whatever you have around you, being resourceful. Don't dive too much into, I think need, I need this to make this happen. Don't do that. Just use what you have right now to accomplish what you need to accomplish. Because again, there's a lot of mental expansion for you through this month that's going to help you step into your power. In, oh man, okay, this is in the house of careers and we've got the nine of swords. So there could be something um, when it comes to career that you're feeling a little bit stressed about it. And this is going to be different for all of you. So it could be that you're worried about your job or the future of it. And that will not help. I know that that's easier said than done, but that's why I feel like that king card is coming out just visualizing you taking your power back, using your, your intuition and your creative abilities to change your perspective on the situation and what's going on for you. In your 11th house, oh, I love this. We've got the empress card, okay? I feel as though, because this is your 11th house, so that's the house of like social networking and wishes and dreams. I feel as though these two are connected, okay? Because you're learning something new, like a new hobby or a new creative thing that you can dive into, and it's inspiring you to want to start a new project this month. So that's really powerful, and as you do that, it's going to be nurturing and healing and kind of alchemizing any type of trauma that you're still getting over, because I see that with the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. To me, and the shadow, the devil here, that's a little bit of PTSD or some trauma that you could be dealing with. In your 12th house, we've got the Nine of Cups. This is good, and this is your house of self-undoing. Okay. This is the Pisces house. This is your house. And it could be that you're dealing with, because you've got the devil here, you've got some, possibly some complacency, dissatisfaction, vanity errors, lacking joy, okay? And it's blocking you. Pretty much Pisces. It's like you are maybe lacking just having something that gets you to wake up something that fills you with passion that makes you like yeah i want to wake up today and i really want to do this thing okay that's what i would feel like you need to focus on doing because this is interesting that it's coming out the nine of cups is wish fulfillment so i feel as though you guys are you're you're just in a different like i said before you're in this different parallel reality by jumping into maybe fears or what's going to happen in the future and it's disconnecting you a little bit okay so i'm gonna dive in and get some clarifiers on these so let's see what comes out here okay and i'm so excited to be using these cards i found a mini version of them and these are the cards that i started out with in tarot so i'm like so stoked to be using them okay so Let's dive in here. To clarify the hanged man, we have the queen of swords, okay? And this is about you putting boundaries up. This is about, I feel as though Pisces, the less attention that you're giving to possibly someone or something, you're, you're like detaching your emotions a little bit more. And that's what I feel like is giving you control because I feel like there's something or someone that you're possibly cutting out of your life. And because you're finally seeing that oh, you've almost like reached the end of a neural net wiring in your brain. It's almost like you've reached the end of some type of emotion and you don't have any, emo any more emotions for a situation or a person. It's almost been spent from you so you're in this place of empowerment because you're feeling a bit more detached in a positive way so in your second house oh wow so you've got the knight of cups coming in so i feel as though yes there's someone that you're dealing with in regards to possible like money or honestly some of you could be dealing with someone that is like jealous of you 
in some way, shape, or form, and you have all this conflict around them, even though it there's like love there, there's still a lot of conflict between you and this person. And it's bringing out a lot of shadowy type of communication. So that's why I was cautioning you on how you communicate because you might be doing it more from your shadow, but this is what's positive. You've got the world card. There's a huge, this is what I was talking about Pisces. There's a huge ending taking place to almost like a, a lower vibrational part of yourself that's been your shadow. That's, that's coming to a completion. So it could be in regards to a relationship because of this Knight of Cups. For some of you, it could be someone that you feel as though this person continues to come back in your life and you see a pattern with them where they offer you love, but you turn into all this conflict because you guys just have two different ideals or two different lifestyles and it's not working anymore. So you're putting a completion to that with the world card, which is very positive. That's graduation, completion. You learned a really huge lesson. So look how cool this is. Now you have got the king of fire or the king of rods. And I love this because it's similar to that king card. So you've just got more clarification coming in where Pisces, there's something and look at the queen of rods. There's, I do feel like for some of you, there's going to be a partnership coming up throughout this, the month of May, that's going to be a very powerful connection. Like you guys have similar passions, similar dreams. And you could be lining up with this person and it's like your intuition is guiding you there. So pay attention to that this month, Pisces, big time. Look how cool. Okay, throughout the month of May, you've got the Ace of Pentacles when it comes to this Maiden of Swords. I feel like for you guys, whatever new kind of um, like venture that you're diving into, there's, okay, let me dive into this, all right? Pisces, I feel as though there's something that you need to wrap up when it comes to your money, okay? Or a connection. It could be all like interconnected, but there's something that you need to wrap up and complete because, when, or like finish, there's something that you've been kind of putting off maybe. And when you finally put a completion to it, there's the world card, the ending that's going to happen. There's going to be a new opportunity that comes in here, like maybe a new job or a new way to make money. And it's going to be very exciting and positive for you. It's this new door opening, but there's something here that needs to come to a completion first. And you guys will know that what that is for yourself. Okay. In wow. So you've got the Eight of Cups coming in to clarify the Fool card. There's something that you're walking away from when it comes to something that doesn't fulfill you when it comes to your health anymore. So that could be a person, and I'm not surprised, but you got, you've got something here where you're walking away from disappointment. And also we've got the moon here. There's something or someone that you've been, you're like in the process of walking away from and you're walking into this new beginning and you're realizing like there's nothing more out of this. It could be this person here, okay? The king of, or the knight of cups that you're seeing there's no real commitment with that person or there's nothing really stable that they have to offer you. Wow, okay. Page of Rods um, or the Page of Fire coming out to clar clarify the Queen of Fire. So there's going to be this communication, I'm telling you, a lot of communication between you and another person, a lot of fire energy coming in. And I feel as though, Pisces, someone's really going to be pursuing some type of entanglement with you like they really want to work with you they're very passionate about you you and this person like you guys have this very much so in common so i'm seeing that here that's really good but I, like i said there's something that needs to come to an end or a completion before i feel like this connection can really come in you've got the ten of rods look how perfect this is the ten of rods coming in to clarify that eight of swords so this is where you're a lot of your transformation is taking place because you're putting an end to a relationship. Again, you're dropping the burden of honestly, Pisces, what I'm seeing is that you've been trying to like make a relationship fit 
or work and you've you've almost been trying to prove a point or like or prove that you can transform another person or heal another person in your life and that's why all this confliction has come in for you because you've been trying to force something that is not an energetic match to a lot of transformation that's happened for you okay in your clarifying the eight of pentacles look at that we've got the hanged man again so this is perfect so there's something that you need to change your perspective when it comes to your mind like how you view something that you want to work towards passionately and what you need to do is just get out of your mind of thinking ahead to how hard it's going to be and just go and do the work because you're once you dive into it it's going to expand your energy and get all of your energy flowing again. And then you're going to be feeling like you're unstuck. That's where a lot of transformation is happening as you dive into this thing. I, whatever it is that you guys are wanting to do. But it's something in your mind that you've been like, I really want to do this thing. Two of rods. Wow. Like tons of fire energy coming out in the clarifiers. So this is what's good there's something that's been stressing you out a lot in two of rods you're you're looking towards the future or looking towards different opportunities and maybe for some of you you're looking to where you want to travel or maybe relocate to which is really positive that's what i feel like even for some of you it could just be about that you're um just the looking for the opportunity is exciting you and it's pulling you out of some type of stressful energy. So it's making you feel like there's solutions. There's a way out. There's an opportunity ahead that's going to be really exciting for you. In your 11th house, look at that. We've got the Three of Cups. I love this because I feel as though Pisces, as you dive into some type of um, new project that I was talking about, because there's this new opportunity here. And for some of you guys, it could be a new way to make money, something like that, or moving somewhere or a new job. There's going to be some really beautiful connections that come in here, maybe some friends, and they feel as though you're, you know, that these are the people that you belong with, because it's a wish and a dream fulfillment. And that's the Aquarius house. So that's social networking. So that's really positive. There's going to be some friendships and connections that come in. But Pisces, you almost need to, again, go back to this ending some type of connection that keeps bringing out your shadow side. Like it, it keeps turning into this no-win situation. And it's like you need to come to a level of acceptance and just accept this is what this relationship is. Okay. And for your last card for the Nine of Cups, we have got the Four of Swords, which is really actually very positive Pisces. What I want to say, this month I would just continue to meditate, clear your mind, because you have a wish fulfillment coming in. So I feel as though your, because this can be the house of self-sabotage, what's going to help you guys a lot is really working on quieting your mind because you've got this eight of swords where you keep feeling stuck and you know fearful of the future in some way shape or form but this is such a positive month i feel like for you guys you're really stepping into your power in some way shape or form okay my loves so i'm going to dive into the extended pisces if you guys want to join me over there i'm just going to pull some more clarifiers on each if you guys are interested go ahead click on the vimeo link down below and i'll see you over there but pisces if this is where we leave things i'm sending you guys so much love wishing you all the very best and i'll see you in your next reading take care